What is going down, everyone? If you're brand new to the network, my name is Mac. You're at the MacGyver 7 channel, and I would definitely recommend slamming that subscription bell. Now that we've moved on past that, the reason you're here is Biomutant's finally updated. Did you have the story progression block? I did. Hopefully this is going to fix it. We're going to be ripping apart the patch notes and seeing what exactly has changed from THQ Nordic down to the Experiment 101 from their gaming departments. So let's go ahead and see what's shining under the sun. Directly from there, they will link us directly to TXQ, and all these will be down below for you to read along and or go ahead and read it as well in the near future or give it to your friends. Now jumping across right here, we can see that PlayStation 4 has a very specific portion where the memory allocation on some of the buffering avoids some crashes. PC also had some AMD specific um, based on the CPU with the built-in so your apu which was what they were wanting to say not a cpu it's an apu um moving on past that the situation and fixing the crashes in the devices inside of the contained of the invalid display data on the amd based cpus and amd definitely does have a lot of hybrided portions and you're also looking at what the same technology is in playstation 4 and 5 and in the xbox series x and s is all amd so there's probably going to be a little bit more of a linkable portions, but the tutorial area also is going to have some in order to improve the pace of an earlier part in the game. We've added the dialogue to be shorter. We also added some enemies and loot some areas to represent the experience later in the game. They added early enemy encounters, missing loot and trenches outside of the Jagni Forest. On top of the situation, the items inside of the chance in the bunker in 101 crates. They updated the best before the memory to decrease the distance between the Nanos and the Pisa tree. And the removes of the parts of the out of date and the best before dialogue to improve the base removing the multiple dialogue fragments to shorten tutorial length and removing the goop and gizmo dialogue to improve pacing which is very interesting because those will be rare parts that i actually got to record removing the portion of the multiple camera presence to improve the pacing and the dialogue narratives reducing the amount of gibberish spoken between the narrator and the starting translations the dialogues and the, the toggles so the gibberish and the narrator allowing the player to select if they are hearing the narrator's gibberish or when talking to the npc fix the narration and the gibberish inside of the silence for as far as the awkward pauses so basically they just tighten it up because i mean they have a really cool system where the narrator says what's going down but if they made it a little bit faster and more representable totally cool remove the deluxe text delay for the animation for as far as the either gibberish or narration is disabled and on top of that the difficulty settings and extreme difficulty settings where enemies damage and attack the rates is further increased fix the difficulty settings not being applied after spawning the enemies new game plus yeah, opened all classes perks for as far as that when inside of the new game plus the players are now able to unlock perks from all classes settings inside of the motion blur sliders in the setting portions also on top of the camera and the adjustable if the players and applies the combat if it turns the camera will no longer try the frame inside of combat fix the depth and field and toggles not being able to apply inside of the dialogue and we have a lot of situations to cover when we look at loot and items the increased chance for as far as items that were found have level requirements closer to the player's actual level fire so that's great so now we actually have some stuff that's literally your level correspondent so you're not getting dead loot or something you can't use at the very good moment while still being able to find higher requirements but the player is now being able to take into account what they can adjust for the remove the common item drops for the higher level loot crates reduce the amount of healing items after the players will find the crates and defeat the enemies increase the base damage in the melee bodies handles the add-ons by approximately five percent reduces the base damage from the range bodies and the muzzle grip approximately five percent and fix the resistance to start not being able to apply the craft gear when adding an add-on reduce the gear and the add-on resistance 
and the critical chance bonuses ensure the quest rewards and the helmet portions for no longer dropping the random loot style that it used to. The remove slots from all protective suits and the sounds in the melee now actually sound like melee sounds on the board. The amount of sound effects in the volumes, sound effects for as far as the tribe wars, and an update for as far as the way we look at the player lands inside the HQ after being launched from the catapult. Combat issues come into a more expansive section for us to take a look at. As you can see that the list grows from abnormally high output due to the consumable top mod applying the meta damage multiplayer during the equip and unquip. As you can see right now, the ability for as far as not being able to inflict criticals, the reduced dead eye sharpshooter perk and damaging multiplayer from 2.0 to 1.25 to ensure that it is compared to other perks disabling the end of combat slow motion camera for shorter combat scenarios adjusting the valid angles for combat targets to reduce the camera movement in combat reduce the camera looking at the portion when you strike the character in air and this was needed because a lot of the camera it was really trashy like i was you, you have a fun battling system but the it was kind of like really taken away by the not polished camera system but i'm glad that they focused on that no pun intended on the few cases that the airstrikes were not completed in the last attack the adjust speed of some enemies grabs its portion now bite easier to dodge them in time and the dodge system and parry portion were really trash as you can see parry is the next thing as it says kicks the attack from smaller enemies being too difficult to parry Parry windows is now more consistent and the enemies can be staggered out of it so they will be messed up once you do that parry uh, the tribes surface and lupa lupin in the final encounter now reacts stronger to the parry and allowing the player to parry in the counter attack which was a progression block lupa lupin definitely happens to be a progression block in this game which i'm hoping they're gonna fix inside of this i can't wait to play because i was getting really excited i was about to fight him went on but moving on past that situation you can see the tracking of the jagni staff to axe the first three hits will no longer overshot the target and dodge attack is more reliable on top of the situation we can see the spawning and the double death the particle effect on the defeated enemies fix the issues inside of the picu nikchuk not stopping its animation fixed larger enemies with the melee weapons and the animation to quickly at slow walking speeds adjust the hit reaction for morox to make melee more viable and satisfying to use. Fix the issues for the dodging and the shooting reloading for as far as the moving in the correct portion of the characters. Issues with the airstrike sometimes may be canceled and the range in the melee attack improves the enemies tracking the reduced miss. Fix issues where the melee gap closed would sometimes overshoot and fix the backwards attack for crushing weapons resulting in a miss most of the time. Adjust the animation for unarmed and glove attacks to be fastest, and fix the issues where the players would sometimes be stuck underneath large enemies after being knocked to the ground. Added the ability to slide underneath the legs of the titans, and fix the issues of the players would sometimes get stuck inside of the enemies after the vault or the leg slide move. You can see that the players would get stuck inside of the enemies and after the airstrike it would be initiated the adjust sound of the rumble effect and successfully parrying and improves feedback. The fixed issues when the airstrike would cause enemies to be launched very far and the improved portions of the jumbo puff and the throwing. Quest achievements. Right now they have a lot of situations going on for as far as the game progress not being 100% unable for the single playthrough. It also fixed the back to the roots quest sometimes not being able to be completed. On top of the tribe war flows to be most robust and the old world gadgets trophies to be unlocked correctly. 
some crashes that came along with it was the crashes when the moving objects in the area and using telekinesis the ui gets a polish inside of the new weapon and the wang fu is now unlocked when the player has crashed a new weapon instead of being unlocked when looting individual components added the correct fast travel lock the message will attempt to fast travel climbing the ladder or following added the mercenary dlc indicator to the menu added the drop back to the qet to improve the readability in the light background, move the comic book effect to ensure the encounter of the QET prompt invisibility, and the situation of what we can see is the reversed hypoxia warning percentage value to be consistent with other zones. Added the fading to enemies and friendly markers at a 30 millimeter distance, not millimeter, meter. <laughs> Millimeter, that'd be nothing. A meter distance to reduce the HUD of the clutter. Looking at the situation of the world, it comes into several portions of where we can have objects in the suburbia as they are tried to the Mo quest could be caused to the confusion. Replaced a couple of NPCs tasks that didn't work as intended, added missing no rain volume to the sewer entrance at an oil field to prevent indoor rain effects the sub natica station is now fully covered by the correct post process volume improve the look for the indoor puddles fix the issues where the players were able to fall through the world inside of the my raid fortress also on top of the falling through with the anakti outpost you can see where the bigger oil planes were possible to walk on and the oil fields in the monsters presentations camera being triggered underground fix the area object for as far as the gutterway 6g counting incorrect amounts of superb loot and as we come towards the very end of this very long patch note which seems like they just literally released the game with a new polish you can see that it disabled the fast travel when jumping inside of the water issues for as far as the unspeak wang fu caused the npc to fall through the surface instead of drowning you also have the rocket npcs stuck in the air after exploding the rocket npc also inside of the particle effects popping when being removed and the adjusted free fall duration needed for the mounts to trigger a hard landing the abrupt check in the labels inside of the puzzle incorrectly being displayed as loot chance instead of intellect fixed infinity jumps the infinity jumps now inside of those photo modes for as far as the fireflies not spawning narrow when caught the child's memory being auto completed when open inside of the photo mode fix some of the doors and opening after utilizing the photo mode and fix some of the smoke when the burning villages for sometimes being rendered instead of AMD GPUs, not just having that smoky looking cool tone of pixels. Adjust the default camera pitch up a bit so it's not positioned directly behind the player and fix the resistance being reset after modifying the appearances. After about 14 minutes of a very long patch note, I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident from THQ Nordic. And they've always been really good about giving games day one. I feel like they really wanted to get this game out here, and they didn't really want to screw it up like what Cyberpunk 2027 had did during day one, and release a whole bunch of patch notes one after another, not really fixing things. Though, it is kind of bad when Lupa Lupin, and you can't really beat him, and he just locks up. But... That's what patches are for. So hopefully you've had a fun time. Subscribe, it's absolutely free. Helps me out as a creator. And if you do today, accompany it with that notification bell so you get more future updates as they come across the channel. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you there for more Biomutant related news and gamage all around. Later everyone, have a nice day.